Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rabbit Motorworks. And today we're going to finish off our three part finale of air conditioning recharge and refresh as we're drawing down the system on the Camaro at the moment, getting it ready for some R12 Freon, and we're going to have cool air coming out of those vents just in a short period of time. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. Stay tuned for more great content on Rabbit Motorworks, and let's kick off this finale. drawing that system down got the pump going gauges are at about 30 which is nice everything's all connected like previous this is the second time around that I'm doing it but I'm just making sure and double checking that everything's nice and tight we don't have any leaks already had it sit for about a half an hour uh, I'm checking it a second time just to make sure that that there's nothing that's changed got all the materials needed for the job here uh 12 ounces of freon times four gives us 48 that's what the system takes the r12 adapter for these cans this is the refill hose we're not going to use we're going to actually connect that to the yellow line there on the pump and i got our temperature gauge uh, aka meat thermometer <laughs> we're going to stick in the the vents and use that to get a reading of how cold we can get it hopefully we can get it down to the 50s or lower and yeah, we're just about done with our 30 minute timer and uh, we'll shut off the pump and let it sit for about 30 minutes after that. Make sure our gauge doesn't budge and as long as we're good, we'll start refilling. Okay, so what's in a Freon can? <laughs> so the next thing I'm looking into and just understanding capacities because I, I want to be dang sure Anything I put in this system is exactly spot on. So I went to capacities in the manual as well. And equivalent to 0.88 pounds, 14 ounce can, 12 ounce cans. In the 1980s, there was no such thing as a 12 ounce can of Freon. It was a pound can is what they would call it. And a pound can is the equivalent of a 14 ounce can. However, you look at these cans and they look identical. So. This feels, yeah, a little heavier than a 12 ounce can. So what does that mean? Well, it means the book says I got to have three pounds of Freon, which is the equivalent of 48 fluid ounces. And so weight wise, that's three pounds. So I did some internet reading and found out that a 12 ounce can of Freon is 0.75 pounds. 14 ounce can is 0.88, which is exactly what the book says. So. 0.75 times 4 gets us 3 pounds. So that's what we're going to do. 3 pounds or 4 12 ounce cans. So again, prepping and making sure we got the exact amount and we're not making any mistakes. Okay, we're just about ready to start charging the system up. I got a R12 can connected up. Our gauge is not budged, so that's just awesome. So we got a totally sealed system. Nothing's escaping, that's great. It was nice and sealed before, but now it's sealed still. So that means even after we touched it, it's still good. So let's start putting some Freon in. We'll follow the procedures in the manual as we move through the next steps. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I've connected up a can of R12. I haven't punctured it just yet. I've got the, the connection set up here. What we're going to do is basically puncture the can, allow some of the Freon to basically charge up the line. There's air in the line. You've got to get the air out of the line. So what you basically do is release this just enough until you get a little bit of Freon coming out and then quickly close it up with your fingers. That takes any air out of the line so you're not pushing the air in front of it into the system. The gauge is still at 30. It's been sitting for a better part of a half an hour or more, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, uh, so let's start taking that up and putting it into the system. So I'm puncturing the line here 
and getting ready to enter the system with Freon. Okay, we've got a nice tight connection. And what I'm gonna do is basically release the needle and that allows it to flow into the line. So what I'm gonna do here is basically release this and let a little bit of free in come out. Just like that. Now we've purged all the air out of the line and the can of Freon's ready to go. So next thing is we'll start putting that in the system, start up the car and get one pound in and take it from there. We've got the car running, it's uh, up to speed. And we're gonna put one pound in. The system's off right now. We'll put one pound in and after the one pound goes in, then we'll switch it to on run it at normal and put the rest of the remaining free on in the system. So can's already set, I'll invert it and then start opening the line and bring the stuff in the system. dispelled by the numbers on the outside ring. The R12 ring is actually in the further side at a lower amount, so it scared me at first. You can see we're pretty much empty. The can's empty as well too. This is actually nice and cold, I can feel it. That's awesome. Okay, let's disconnect the, the can setup and uh, test out the temperature inside the vehicle. 
There you go guys, it's another episode complete. Our three part series. We've got, geez, I just took the car for another spin. Like 50 degrees at the vents with max AC on. Goes down to like probably in the 60s, maybe 57 in uh, the medium range. But yeah, literally chilling and, and just super cold. So stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.